How's it going, BMW fans? Welcome back to the BMW Review. Today, we're going to be going over 15 warnings before you buy a BMW. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, Beam Review, what we do here is showcase all the latest BMWs. We also do some really cool hidden tips and tricks. So subscribe to the channel because we put our content every single week. For today's video, we're going to be doing something a bit different. I'm actually going to be going over some of the warnings and some of the things that you definitely have to know about before you buy your BMW. Before we get started, I did want to say that this whole video has plenty of pros and cons, but at the end of the day, I do truly love the brand and I would highly recommend it above everything else. I did want to mention these really two cool BMW key fob covers. They are shipped and sold by Amazon so that you can bet that you're going to have an amazing shipping experience. But I would highly recommend getting one of these so you don't damage your real keys because those real keys, they do cost about $300. So watch out for that. Go check out these key fob covers at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's go and get started on the 15 warnings. So ladies and gentlemen, first off and foremost, the biggest warning about BMWs is that you truly will fall in love with this brand and you truly will love the drive of these vehicles so much that any other brand of vehicles you drive you're just not going to feel the same and not only that i have seen so many people purchase bmws multiple times i've even i've even met one customer that that had had 15 bmws in a row so truly what's spectacular about bmws is all the latest technology and we're going to be going over that for number two again as mentioned the biggest thing is the drive now, BMW's drive is really, really hard to explain until you actually get behind the wheel and try it yourself. Whenever you get behind the wheel of a BMW, you truly feel connected to the road. And because of that, the car just simply feels as though it is connected to you. Not only do these vehicles are known for handling great, but they're top of their class in every single segment. And as you can see, sitting in this 23 BMW X1, they're also on top of their game in terms of all the latest technology as well. You will truly feel emotionally attached to these vehicles. You'll never go back to any other brand. And that is speaking from firsthand. Number two on what you should watch out for is that if you have never had a BMW before, you probably have no idea about all the different packages and options that these vehicles can come with. Not only do they have a ton of packages and options, but BMW constantly changes what options are offered and not offered within all the BMWs as well. So definitely do your research before you buy these vehicles. Go onto BMW's website and definitely try building out your BMW before you even set foot into the store. The reason why it is good to do that is that so you can get a clear idea of what type of packages and options that you can expect to have in your BMW. Now, just to say for an example, for this BMW X1 that we have here, these are only some of the options that this vehicle can come with. And not only that, but each BMW, they all have their own different packages, options, features. So definitely know what you want before you even set foot into the store so that you have no regrets later on. Now, number three, one of the biggest things about BMWs is that the last generation ones are very, very simple. As you can see with this new X1, things are starting to look more complicated, but BMWs for the most part are pretty intuitive and very, very easy to learn. But one of the things to mention about these vehicles is that there's tons and tons of hidden features. If you don't already know from my YouTube channel, I've already done part three of hidden features for this vehicle, which basically means that we're up to 75 hidden features or things you might not know about about BMWs and not only that we're actually working on part four too so you can bet that there is basically a hundred plus items within the vehicle that you might not even know that it has or all the different ways that it can function now just to say for a example with this key fob you only see four different buttons here but did you know that this key fob has basically 20 different functions we actually have a video of that too but that's just to give you an example of how much you can go in depth with these vehicles if you do plan on getting a bmw know that there are going to be tons of hidden tricks that you're not going to catch and maybe not even know about the whole time that you have your bmw so definitely subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with, with all those features for number four one of the biggest things to mention is the tech now with bmws they actually have tons and tons of different technological features within the vehicle again this is the x1 which is all brand new tech right here now one of the reasons why i'm mentioning this is because bmws tend to upgrade and redesign their cars every three years or so bringing up the fact that you must research these vehicles is to also know that you're buying at the right time so say for example the bmw x5 is going to get a redesign for 2024 but many people do not know about that so you do have to ask yourself if, if you want to wait for a 2024 bmw x5 where it's going to be brand new or if you take the risk on the 2023 bmw is constantly changing their lineup constantly changing their options and features as mentioned before so again do your research many do question if they should lease or buy a bmw and of course that answer is always responded by it depends so to give you guys a personal take on what i think you should do depending on your situation is going to go a little bit something like this say for example if you're somebody who just drives from day to day 
And if, if you believe that you'll keep your mileage at around 8,000 to 12,000 a whole year, it might make sense to just lease your vehicle. Not only that, whenever you do lease a vehicle, of course, you don't have to worry about doing long-term maintenance and whatnot. Make your life a whole lot stress-free as well. And just to be quite straightforward, BMWs are best to own in the early years of their lifespan before the maintenance and repairs start to come in as well too. Of course, leasing will also lower monthly payment as well. And depending on what you do, it might be better for tax write-offs as well. Also, one of the biggest things that you may love about leasing the vehicle is that you can stay up to date with all the new models that come through along with all the new features as well too, just like this BMW X1 that we have here. Now, if you were somebody who would be considering buying the vehicle, just note that the biggest thing that you might just have to watch out for is the fact that BMWs on their first year depreciate the most. Of course, if you were looking to make the best financial decision on buying a BMW, what you should really do is simply just buy a pre-owned vehicle, a certified pre-owned that is, and keep the vehicle for about two to eight years. Now, owning a BMW in the early years is, com is completely stress-free. Again, the only real thing that you have to watch out for is just the depreciation, but you're not gonna have to worry about repairs or maintenance until you get to about year six to eight. But just to give you guys a real example, I am somebody who does drive a vehicle for about 20,000 miles a whole year, which is a whole lot. So in my situation, what I would do for myself just to avoid the depreciation is simply buy a BMW whenever it's one to two years old and then keep the vehicle for about six to eight years at max. If you you are considering getting a BMW after year six to eight, definitely be careful of repairs and maintenance because that's whenever things will start to go out the roof. Once you get to about that point, just definitely watch out for small little things to go wrong. They're not gonna be major, but they will be a headache and they will start to get a bit expensive as well. So these are many different factors that you must consider. Again, I'm not from sales, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you all prefer where you should buy or lease depending on your situation. For the next one, if you decide to get a really cool BMW M vehicle, or this goes for any car actually if you have low profile tires with some pretty big rims in my personal opinion you must get wheel and tire especially if you live in a part of the country where you're going to have lots of potholes and constructions i can't believe the number amount of vehicles that come into this issue i previously had an audi s5 that also had the same problem of having bent rims and, and i personally i went through five of them as well but wheel and tire is super super useful i personally have had it in all my cars i do live near new england in the usa and the roads here can get quite messy if you also live here with low profile tires i would highly highly recommend it i will bet you that it will pay for itself for the next one one of the biggest things to mention about these vehicles is that they are super fun and what i love about bmws is that every single vehicle in each class all have a special driving feel whether you're getting an x1 like this or if you're getting an 8 series or x7 the same bmw feel will reside in all the different models as well the vehicles are super super responsive in terms of handling and pretty much all the engines that bmw makes these days are all turbocharged and with that you're going to get a nice low end torque and not only that you're going to get some really good gas mileage as well but yes the bmws are super fast and because of that, you might bump into some trouble in terms of getting speeding tickets or pissing people off. One of the biggest tips that I will mention to you is whenever I'm driving a BMW, I will always make sure that Waze is on the screen at all times. Because honestly, it doesn't matter which BMW that you're in. If you're driving 80 miles per hour, it will literally feel like you're driving 60 miles per hour. And at times you can't even tell how fast the vehicle is going. We're gonna transition into the next one. And that is the fact that you're gonna have the BMW stigma. Now, what I mean by that, you're gonna piss off a lot of people on the road. And at the same time, you can't really blame yourself either because whenever you get behind the wheel of these vehicles you literally feel so confident that you can cut through traffic with ease and that is the reason why many bmw drivers don't even know what the indicator stick is quite honestly in a bmw you really don't need it for the simple fact that you're going to feel so confident behind the wheel but yes many people are going to get pretty mad on the road whenever you drive past them they're going to get behind you i've actually had a lexus before i had my bmw and when i was in my lexus nobody would give me a hard time but when i was in my bmw just driving through the traffic i would get high beam flashes all the time but honestly i was having so much fun with the vehicle that i really did not care and i'm sure that many of you will say the same thing as well whenever you get into a bmw you honestly do feel like a villain and that feeling honestly never gets old another warning to mention is that bmws at least in the usa do not come with all season mats now this vehicle does have all season mats as you can see right down here but at least in the usa the vehicles are only going to come with the summer mats now many customers or clients they do get very very thrown off about that as well because you're paying almost fifty thousand dollars for average bmw you would think 
think that it would come with rubber mats. Many of the times it does not. That is actually the biggest accessory that people get whenever they do get their BMWs. And also that is a really great tip to mention to your dealer as well. Whenever you're in a negotiation, can't hurt to ask for all season mats within the deal as well. So definitely take advantage of those accessories because again, they do not come with the vehicle, but they are must haves and you will be glad that you have them. Another thing I want to mention about BMWs, you're gonna have the choice of whether going with a pre-owned vehicle or a certified pre-owned BMW. My honest opinion, you should only get the certified BMW. And there are a few points or reasons on why you should do that. At least here in the USA, if you were to get a certified BMW, not only do you have a peace of mind, they do some really vigorous tests, such as a 172 point inspection on the entire vehicle to make sure that everything is probably working. The vehicle is also not gonna be any major accidents as well and the vehicle has to have been on time with all the oil changes and services in order for it to be a certified vehicle as well. So you do have a peace of mind on going with a certified BMW. Also, you're also guaranteed two key fobs as well too. So if you do get a certified BMW, from what I remember, the certification does include two key fobs. And lastly, one of the biggest things about a certified BMW is the fact that you get one year additional warranty on top of the factory that it already may have. It also comes with unlimited miles too. So if you are somebody that drives a ton of miles, a certified BMW is going to be very, very beneficial to you because you're not going to have to worry about all those thousands and thousands of miles that you might put in the first few years. Another major point to mention is about the warranty for BMWs. If you do plan on keeping your vehicle for a very, very long time, I would highly recommend not owning a BMW if it's outside the warranty. Many advisors, they all swear by it as well, but having the extended warranty for your BMW is also a must as well because again, as mentioned before, these parts can get very, very expensive if you tend to keep your vehicle for a long, long time. I can pretty much tell you that having the warranty will basically pay for itself in the long run. And also, if you all didn't know that with the warranty, if you do decide to get rid of the vehicle before the warranty is even up, you can most likely potentially get a refund for the portion that you did not use as well. So definitely can't hurt to have the extended warranty, but it is a definite must if you are somebody who tends to keep their car for a very, very long time. Personally speaking, I do keep my BMWs for a long time, up to about 100,000 miles. So I would recommend if you do plan on having your bmw for a long time as well definitely make sure you have the warranty throughout that whole time going back to the topic of maintenance one of the biggest things that you need to know about your bmw is that they are really really sensitive engines and because of that you definitely want to make sure that you're completely up to date with all your oil changes if the sign comes on for an oil change then that should be your cue to go ahead and schedule your service to your nearest BMW dealer. And this is especially crucial, again, if you do plan on keeping your BMW for a long time. For BMW oil changes, on average, you can expect to get about 10,000 miles or or 12 months, whichever one comes first before you have to go in to get your oil change. And that also goes for any car as well. If you do plan on keeping it for a long time, if you do plan on putting tons and tons of miles on it as well, keep up with your oil changes because they are the most important service that you could do for your BMW. And one of the best things about BMWs too is that it'll give you a heads up on whenever your oil change is gonna be due way in advance. So you have plenty of time and no excuses to get your oil change done on time. Another one to mention is all the different trim levels for the vehicle. If you're completely new to BMWs, one of the biggest things that you need to watch out for is all the different trim levels that these vehicles have. Just to give you an example of the 5 Series, the 5 Series has tons and tons of different trims as well. So let's just say, for example, they have the 530i, they have the 540i, they have the M550i, and they have, and they have the M5, they also have the M5 Competition. Oh, and if you want to get a, a hybrid 5 Series as well, they also have the 530e. And just to throw one more at you all as well, BMW is also working on an i5 that is going to have a range of about 600 miles, which is going to be fully EV as well. So that one is going to be another one that gets added to the mix. So definitely wish out for all those different trim levels. As mentioned for the fifth time, research first and then purchase your BMW. And last but not least, if you are somebody who is going to be ordering your BMW, at this date and age, the video is being recorded at the end of 2022 and supply chains right now are still messy here and there. So one of the biggest things that you need to watch out for whenever you're ordering a BMW, BMW has been experiencing supply chain issues for the last couple of years. Not that that bad, but there has been some BMWs that had rolled out without touchscreens and wireless chargers and lumbar support for the seats and the sound system as well too, which this vehicle has a Harman Kardon sound system 
highly highly recommend it but those are just a few of the shortages that they have as of right now at the recording of this video at the end of late 2022 it's honestly not too too bad i would definitely ask first to see if there's any shortages on parts because that is one of the biggest best communications that happen quite often whenever you're placing your order for your bmw make sure you take your time to look at the order sheet and compare it against the order build that you have already built as well ask tons and tons of questions because again bmw has tons and tons of options even what you may think is a standard feature within the car definitely do not hesitate to ask because bmw does have a lot of different options and to wrap it up my last warning that i want to give you all is about bmw subscriptions now in the past it used to be really bad because bmw used to charge a subscription for things like apple carplay but now after many complaints they did just decided to include it for free but there are still a couple of things that you might not be aware of in terms of subscriptions so just to give you all a a few of them bmw's connected drive services such as the app and the sos that we have here and even real-time traffic is only good for the first four years of the life of the vehicle after the four years is up you do have to go onto connecteddrive.com and resubscribe to those services as well i haven't seen it in the very very new cars just like this 23 x1 what i have seen in the past if you wanted to resubscribe to those features to those services it is going to be about 120 dollars a year so definitely keep that in mind and also not only that if you didn't know bmw does have have a sos button right here which does have the roadside assistance that again is also good for four years if you have a brand new bmw here in the us if you have sirius on that bmw sirius is good for the first year as well you get a one-year trial and then you have to resubscribe to that through sirius and also if your vehicle does have a wi-fi hotspot or at least the wi-fi hotspot capability that is only be good for the first three months and then after that, you have to go through T-Mobile to resubscribe to that too as well. And also, if your BMW did come with a digital key such as this right here, that is also a one-year subscription as well. And then you would have to resubscribe to that as well. So those are just a few subscriptions to watch out for. Also, I have heard rumors about subscriptions for things like heated seats. So watch out for that. But I believe here in the United States, we don't have to worry about that. And also for all the viewers in the United States, all of the brand new BMWs, late 2022 going forward they all are starting to have the ability of having remote start but that is also something that you have to get separately it is a separate option but if you don't get it at first whenever you're ordering the vehicle you can always subscribe to that from the bmw connected drive store for roughly around 300 so these are all the warnings that i wanted to mention to you all whenever you're purchasing your vehicle or if you already have a bmw if you stay till the end of the video you, do, you know about them now so it might still help you out in the future or whenever you get your next bmw this video was a little bit different compared to the rest so let me know what you all think if you had any questions write it down below and i'll be more than happy to help you out i respond back to every single comment so definitely comment down below hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you for the next one